Hey, yarny harmy hearties. This is my face behind a helmet, so you can't see it. But welcome to Space Engineers. And welcome to Planet Earth. Da -da -da -da. Okay, it might not be very impressive, but the concept is pretty impressive. Now you can see that I can walk around this uh, sphere, which means that we have a spherical gravitational field, which I have not uh, found before, and it's a very cool concept, and it took a little bit of tinkering to figure out, and I actually had to do quite a research and testing on the gravitational generators themselves and how they work to figure this one out. But it's a really cool concept, and there is uh, actually nothing inside this. Now, there is uh, a little bit of a limit to the size of the sphere you can make. And those limitations are uh, that it has to have a radius between 2 and 30, 32, I believe. So, uh, it's, it might be able to be 34. But a radius between uh, 2 and 32 should be perfect. It's, that would be safe. Uh, anywhere in between that is good. And it's, it's really cool. I would like to see a real sphere. Sadly, I'm horrible at building spheres, which you can see uh, <laughs> for yourselves. Uh, but it's a really cool concept. And I would like to share with you how to build it. So, let's check it out. So, welcome back. This is going to be our center. It's going to be a large ship, uh, not, not a large ship, it's going to be a station. And it's pretty important that it is a station. Uh, I, you could possibly do this with a large ship. Uh, it would be a little bit more complicated. Uh, but the way we're going to do this, if you want to make a sphere that is smaller than 31 blocks, uh, or 31 blocks in uh, radius, it has to be a station. If you make a 31 uh, radius sphere, you can make it a large ship. Uh, but I haven't tested it out, so if someone want to do that and put it on the uh, Steam Workshop, you're very welcome to and post it in the uh, Reddit thread. Or the uh, YouTube comments. That would be really cool. I would love to see that actually. Uh, though I suck at building spheres. So I'm not actually going to do it myself. <laughs> because I probably can't. Uh, now anyway. To actually get on with the uh, tutorial. Kind of how to thing. Uh, you will place 30 blocks. Like a stick. Out from the generator from the center of this thing you will place a gravitational field or a gravitational generator facing the center uh, on the end of that stick now what this will do is that the field uh, that is 30 blocks away that reaches 30 block from the uh, generator will not reach the core, the center of the gravitational field. And that is important because if I place two generators facing each other, since they have the same strength, uh, they will cancel each other out. So you can't just make this little core thing with all the gravitational engines on it, uh, gravitational generators, and expect a circular gravitational field but you actually have to build out these 30 blocks plonk, and smack down a gravitational generator on the outside now it does not have to be connected so since it's a station I can just plonk, remove this and smack a generator on that I can do the same on the other side Whoop. and smack a generator on that and it will still work which is the reason we're using the station uh, because if you want to make a smaller sphere 
you will leave these out in space. And if I can find my little planet thing that's over there. Sorry if I'm giving you vertigo. Uh, if we go towards this, uh, you will see this. Now you can clearly see the generators. Uh, there's one up there, one over there, one over there, right in the crosshair. One over there, right in the crosshair, one below and one there. So there's six of them, one on each side. And you just keep building out these 30 block long pillars in all, all direction. Yeah, I recommend using the uh, all the uh, uh, symmetry modes, all the three symmetry modes, and you just have to build three pillars, and you will get the other pillars for free. Uh, then you can remove them, place the generators, and you can build a smaller sphere inside that. And since it's a station, these are still considered stations, uh, you actually can't move them uh, really manually. Uh, so by bumping into them or uh, crashing a ship into them, uh, crashing a ship into them would of course cause them to explode and uh, that would be bad because your planet would start crumbling or you would start falling off your planet but they kind of disappear uh, they, they are not so obvious uh, but probably a 31 sphere thing that would have the generators on the very inside so if you want to build a 31 block sphere uh, uh, which could be a large ship then which would be super cool to see by the way uh, you would just start from here so this would be your outer center you would say this would be one side of the planet and then you could have that you walk around it and you will end up uh, over here in the end and in all the other directions as well it would be really cool to see so I thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this let's actually uh, Stand on our planets while we're standing inside our planets instead. I want to stand inside the planets. That's that's disturbing. Uh, so uh, if you enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like. If you plan on building uh, something with this, like a bigger sphere, if someone wants to build or is going to build the 31 block sphere, I would love to see it on the Steam Workshop because I'm very interested in seeing that. Sadly, I I can't build spheres. I, ju I just can't. I don't. Kn I have no idea how how to do it, and it would probably be horrible if I made it. Uh, but if anyone wants to do that, or maybe build a ship, uh, make a ship out of it, uh, that would be awesome and super cool. And I would love to see it. And uh, yeah. That would, that would be all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, as I said. And uh, I shall see you. Hold on next time.